Hello! In this video I'm going to select and create an invitation card on Snapfish. Creating a card is quite easy once you've found the card you're looking for. We offer many card types and formats and literally hundreds of designs. With so many options and all possible customizations like color, size, and trim, the possibilities are endless. So the hard part of creating cards is deciding on the design and options. Now let's take a look at the basic card types we offer. 5x7 and 4x8 flat cards. These are two-sided single sheet cards that are not folded. Greeting cards, which are 5x7 folded cards. And note cards that are 4.25x5.5 folded cards. For this project, I want a party invitation, so I select that category. I have 50 matches, way too many to look through one by one. I open the filters to narrow down my choices. I have many criteria to choose from, like number of photos, card and photo orientation, and colors. I filter for cards with one photo only. The number of matches drops drastically. I browse the matches. I like this one. It's a 5x7 flat photo card and it comes in a set of 20. I can also flip it to see its backside right here. There are also many color options for this card. I'm going to star this so it gets saved in my favorites. Notice the recently viewed and favorites. The system remembers the cards I've looked at recently, and I can star any card to save it to my favorites. I select it. That takes me to more options on the card, including paper type, quantity, colors, and trims. I pick the paper type, 110 stationary cardstock, quantity 40. For trim, I can get this card with rounded corners. I like that. Now I'm ready to create it. That takes me to the card builder. Before I bring in a photo, let's look at some of the tools here. Many of the choices I had in the store cards page, I also have here. I can change the color and layout, the paper type and trim, and even the design. But I'm happy with my choices. I leave it as is. Next, I bring in the photo I want to use in my card. And place it in the photo frame. I enter the text for my invitation. I have many choices of fonts, sizes, and text colors, so I first choose those. And type in my text. Let's look at the back of the card. It looks like I can't add anything here, but that's just the default. If I open layouts, I see that I have many layouts with photos and text boxes I can use. I leave the back as is per the design I picked. Next I go to envelope. Here I have a choice of blank envelopes, or for a small charge I can create a customized return address label. I pick that. I'm done with my card. I go to review and buy. It looks good. So I add to cart to pay and place my order. That is all in cards. Thank you for watching.